Hello, I'm Master Sergeant Tom LePage. During September the 11th, 2001, I was a member of the Maine Air National Guard in South Portland, Maine. I'll never forget the day, September 11th, 2001. I was on coffee break at the phone company and we'd heard that a plane had crashed into the, the World Trade Center. And at first we thought it was just a, a small single propeller plane because that had happened before. Following the incident at the South Tower, the Pentagon, and then Flight 93 in Pennsylvania, the 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 aftershock of such just left everybody speechless, unable to move. It, it was uh, it it was just unfathomable. It was was the word that I think that I would use. It it was just so intense that such a thing could happen here. And shortly thereafter, I received a call from the commander of my of my guard unit and ordered me to, to show up Monday following 9-11 and he said it wasn't a drill and to, to come in first thing Monday morning and bring my bags within four days on the fourth day we were on a flight on a on a C-5 out of Westover Air Reserve Base in, in Massachusetts headed for the, the Middle East and we didn't know where we were going. We knew we were on the hook for a year. We didn't know what was expected of us. All we knew was that our country had been attacked and that we were doing what we were, were called upon by our nation and what we felt was just. I'll never forget the, the feelings of intense pride and, and dedication to duty and, and just the camaraderie. We all had a common goal. Everybody really pulled together, even you know, as a nation. It, it's, it's so, it, it was uh, an awesome feeling that, that the whole nation had pulled together like that. And I, and I wished it, it had stuck around longer. I guess it's fitting a plane's flying over as I'm recording this. The, Guard unit had a great farewell ceremony for us. The governor of the state of Maine had come down. It, it was incredible, and we were overcome with a, an intense sense of patriotism, and and some might call it nationalism, but but for sure patriotism and allegiance to our country. And we just felt like it was it was our turn, it was our calling, and we we didn't had an eyelash about going and it was it was it was a traumatic event in the fact that our nation had been attacked on its own soil and the, the National Guard in the state of Maine hadn't been activated since 1951 in Korea so we were the first group of people to be activated in over 50 years it, it was uh, it was it's something that will live with me forever and the things that I saw were things that I, I could only have imagined seeing, but bearing witness to them has left me very different than, than the person that went over there all those years ago. The person that came. I, I guess what, what the takeaway is from all of it, it just gives me a sense of how great our country has become in terms of taking care of its veterans and I'm, I'm eternally grateful for what <laughs> I've received. When I came back my, my mother and my sisters they had tied yellow ribbons around the oak trees at, at the uh, edges of their lawns and I still will remember my parents' faces when I when I came back. And I, to all of you veterans out there who are struggling, there is help for you, there is hope. Please don't ever give up hope. There is help available for you and please, please take care of yourselves. There, you're not alone. And there are others of us who have felt on the brink of mental collapse. 
and we've 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 somehow pulled through and and that's it's miraculous the help that i received and so to those of you in particular who are struggling and and, and especially with the with the pull out of afghanistan it's it's been something that's been troubling me as well but please talk to someone pick up that line if you need to call a vet we understand take care of yourselves Peace.